Hello everyone, I am Ajay and welcome back to the channel. Today we are going to solve a previous year intuitive coding question. Mm, before going to the coding question, this is a link for joining the telegram that is for the 2023 batch where you will get all the intuitive and hack with the updates, not just intuitive and hack with updates. Like the previous 2023 batch, we used to give all the off campus updates and even the interviews and each and everything about the drives. So, and we previously we have like 20 to 25k students join in our telegram groups and many of them placed in big big MNCs. So for all such updates, please do, please do join this uh, telegram group and do subscribe the channel for more updates. So come into the problem description. Okay. So here we are given is an input string colon number. Okay. String colon number and we given like every string is associated with the number separated by semicolon yes if sum of square digit is even rotate the string by right by one position the squares of digit is odd then rotate the string by left by two positions okay let's understand with this with an example given rhtd246 so our first step is uh, to find the um, to find the sum of squares of individual digits so sum of squares of individual digits so it's 2 4 6 so it's like 2 square plus 4 square plus 6 square that is 84 and it's given here is if it's even, you need to rotate the string by right, and if it's odd, you need to rotate the string by left. So the second case is to find whether square is even or odd. Let's suppose if it's an even, that is for this example, that is 84, then we need to rotate the string by right. The string is previously R H T D, sorry T T. So when we rotate it. So it's a right rotation so t will uh, move to the left side so we'll be having like t r h d this will be the right rotation by one and if you take the odd example let's take one more color yeah the odd example second example that is g h f t d colon one two four six yes so here uh, if you can, uh, if first step is to square, that is 1 square plus 2 square plus 4 square plus 6 square, which will result in 85, and 85 is odd. So when it's odd, we it rotate the string by left. So rotate the string by left means we need to move this to the right. So it would be FTDGH. This would be the answer for the second example. So basically, the logic is here. So first one is to get the sum of squared and to check whether it's even or not if it's even rotate uh, by right by one if it's odd rotate by left by two that's all so i'm going to uh, code this in java and python so firstly java i'm going to use intelj editor for that let's create a main function let's take the input let's give it as a static input so it is given as rhdt, I guess, yeah, rhdt colon 246, 246, okay, we have it, so let's use a split is equal to input dot split, split, and inside that by semicolon, so by colon. So till we store and let's assume the string that is str is equal to split of zero. In the split of zero, we will be having the this value rhtd. And uh, okay, let's create a sum equal to zero for storing the sum of individual squares. Let's create a for loop and i is less than 
split of 0 sorry split of 1 dot length yes because we need to traverse all these numbers so sum is equal to sum plus mm, split of 1 that is number in that number we actually want is like mm, carrot yeah within carrot we can access using index so that is i so this is a this is a character to convert a character into an integer we will be using character dot get numerical value so yeah so all the numerical value we can get here and let's suppose as we need to square this so let's do one thing we can create here one number n equal to this and next step we can write this as sum equal to sum plus n into n so it will store the square and we are done with the first step that is this one and next we have the second step to check whether it's even or odd so we have the sum let's check if sum percentile 2 equal to equal to 0 if it's even for the even what do we have to do we have to rotate the string by one position okay mm. let's create one more result variable to store the result okay so result equal to Mm, we have the split right yeah split split of one sorry split of zero split of zero is nothing but str yeah so we have the string so from that i am taking a substring so we know that uh for the even mm, where is the example yeah rhtd we know that this will come here so we know that from starting to the last minus one all will be taken so we can use that logic zero comma str dot length minus one so that rhd will be taken and also at we want the t first so we will be adding str here again substring of mm, the, the last character for that you can we can just keep it as str dot length minus one comma str dot length here we'll be doing plus so if we observe here firstly i'm taking uh, if you don't know what exactly substring this substring actually takes uh, the index whatever index we specify it starts from there and it go to n minus one so if you are make, making like str dot length which is one two three four so it will take three and i'm here also passing three so here also passing three so here also here passing four so three comma four so it will start from three and it will just end at t so for the index three we have t so t will be copied here that is t will be placed here plus str of substring of zero comma 4 minus 1 3 so 0 comma 3 0 comma 3 means mm, this is 0 1 2 3 0 comma 3 means i said uh, it will just go to n minus 1 so 3 will be not be included so 0 1 2 that is rhd so we have the t here then plus rhd that's about the even logic same for the uh, odd logic so else res is equal to for odd what is it rotate the string by left left to position okay left to position means um, yeah so firstly we will be having this value so we can assume substring of start from 2 and every start from 2 till last because take the, the example of g h f t d if you start from 2 3 4 so all this we want so if we don't mention n it will just go till the end that is still whatever character we have so to 
and substring of 0 comma 2 that is from starting 0 comma 2 so 2 not be 2 will not be included so 0 comma 1 that is 0 gh so ftd plus gh that is ftd gh so that's it let's print the output that print ln yes okay right mm, it's building okay compiling and we have as trhd yes trhd let's pass this input as well ghftd okay ghftd ghftd 1 to 4 6 1 to 4 6 let's run this mm -hmm. building compiling okay ftd gh ftd gh yeah so it's working pr properly the logic is simple the first part to find the sum we found it the second part to check whether it's even or not if it's even i'm using a substring to uh, firstly that is rotating it by uh, right by one and if it's odd i'm rotating it by left by two that's a code in java and finally uh, we will also code in python as well same thing uh, we'll take the input input is equal to what's the input ghftd ghftd colon 1 2 4 6 1 2 4 6 okay we have the input let's take the str again input dot split of colon and you can use a comma here str comma and more we have we want is that is the number okay so we'll be getting str and number in a split way that's fine and str will contain like uh, after splitting it will contain gh ftd and num will contain 1 to 4 6 so we have str and num the first step to find the sum for that let's initialize sum equal to 0 and for i in range of can just give for i in num because in num is a string presently so sum plus I'm equal to sum plus int of i because we are taking each and every character as num is nothing but 1 2 4 sing in a form of string and we will be taking the numbers like 1 2 4 6 in a character by character fashion so as we are taking character by character action so I am converting into the int and adding to the sum but we, know we need to add the square let's do the square here int of i either you can just do int of i into int of i or you can just keep like um, int of i into, into 2 this also means the same so I'm using this so we have the sum finally and next sum is some percentile to equal to equal to zero that is if it's even then let's create a result variable to print the result r is equal to this then result equal to sum of first is minus one that is the last one then sum till minus one that's it in else part which odd we want from two plus sum till 2 let's print the result in python it's simple because it's supposed the splicing uh, operation okay mm, okay it's some right it should be str because we are doing the splicing on str 
Mm, anywhere else? Okay, let's run this. FTDH, FTDGH, FTDGS. Okay, let's try the last example RHDT246. RHDT246. Let's run this. Okay, DTRH. DTRH. Okay, somewhere it's gone wrong. RHDT, it is. RHDT246. Mm -hmm. Oh, I gave here about. Oh, let's remove this. Yeah. Let's run this again. TRHD. Yeah. That's correct. So, this is how we do the code in Python. It's very simple in Python because uh, Python supports the splicing operation. That is, we can use minus one, we can use the colon. So that's how it became very easy. But in Java, we can use the substring to do the same operation. And even for the conversion, it requires a character.get numeric function to conversion. But as Python is a dynamic typing, it automatically convert as we can just um, keep the int function and all. So that's about this code. So all the best everyone thank you